Hey everybody, this is Glidercat, and it's time to play. We are back in Total Factory. We've got some work to do. Got a red arrow showing up here. I guess that's just showing me where there's an enemy or something. Let's uh let's head back down. We need to start working on the second objective. And at the end of the last episode, we talked about needing a purifier. Oh, okay. It says you were destroyed and your stuff fell out of, off the hot, hot bar somewhere in the world. Press the button with the eye and the scanner will help you find your lost items. The arrow with the bag points to the closest ones to your items. Okay. That's kind of cool to know. So we can use our little ore scanner here to find ourselves our loot if we get killed. All right, let's go. Oh, look at this. When we stand on a belt, that little Q hint shows up here on the hot bar. We're letting us know that's how we can pick items off the inventory. Very cool. I like it. All right, we need to build a purifier. Let's go into the craft terminal and see what we need to build that. This takes, uh, okay. Iron with soil, we got plenty. Wires, we got plenty. We need one more electric pole. I've got stone on me. Let's build the pole, boom. And then build the purifier. This is gonna take that copper ore with soil and convert it to just copper ore for us. That's what we need for the hub. Escape out of that. And the purifier is on my hot bar, so I'm going to drop that down near our copper mine. Although, oh, what do we... I'm, I think this copper mine's not going to have enough for us, but we'll see. I'm going to take up this belt for now. I'm going to put down the purifier. Somewhere, let's rotate this thing. Okay, it's got... It's got three inputs, so let's do it here and then we need belts to feed the ore with the soil into the purifier and then we want the purified ore coming out of here and making its way back into the hub that's our new material and all we need to do now is power this thing up so let's uh see if we can run another cable from our fuel generator to the um, purifier here. Boom. Uh, did that take? <clears throat> Excuse me, I lost my voice there for a second. No, it didn't. Let's try it. Boom. Okay, now it took. All right, now we've got the copper being purified and should dump out and make its way into the hub. Now we need... Oh, I've got some... Uh, I think I've got some copper in my inventory. Yeah, I've got 19 nuggets here that have the soil that needs to be purified. I'm just going to take that and drag it into the inventory of the purifier. Get that queued up. There's 57 nuggets to be purified. And how much is left in our little deposit? I don't think it's going to be enough. 54, roughly. And we need... 160. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have enough. We're going to have to find another copper deposit. Uh, let's scan. Is this copper right here? Oh man, that's super convenient. Let's uh, see if we can build another mining rig or what that's going to take to craft up. This guy wants... Okay, we got another hint. The mountain of garbage left behind after destroying the player's buildings do not disappear by themselves and remain in the world until you collect their contents. The same rule applies to items lost by the player. So that's just a little hint that, that uh, loot piles or whatever aren't going to despawn automatically. So that's kind of cool. So to build another rig, we just need one more power pole here. Let's do it. Build a rig. Uh, oh, I need more iron ore with soil. We got to find iron before I can build another rig. So let's scan again. There's iron down this way. I'm going to follow the little arrow. And maybe we can hand mine enough of that to get by for now. And get another rig on copper. Because that's what we really need. Follow the yellow brick road here. Where is the iron? I don't see it. Oop, I'm getting hacked. Oh, we got a bunch right here. Let, oop, I got a buddy here that wants to say hi and attack me. Need some of this iron for crafting. I'm going to try to grab a hundred of this, actually. To 
think we're going to need it. I'm getting a warning that the base is being attacked. Hopefully our little guard robots can fend off that attack. Eventually, we're obviously going to have to put mining drills down over here. You can see we've got a much bigger deposit of the iron. A whole bunch of it over here. But I'm going to grab 100 manually just to get us started so I can craft another rig. And get some more copper being mined. Over at the other deposit. Alright, we're almost there. Ten more nuggets. Alright, let's hop out of here. There is a little jump here. The left shift, that's what... Made me just kind of dart, boom, like that. Uh, am I heading back to base? Looks like I am. Here's where I want to put the rig. I took some damage, but let's uh, let's see if I can craft that rig. Be nice if our little healer bot came by. We need, yeah, we got what we need now. Boom. Craft this up. I like it. It's on the hot bar. We're going to place that over here. Hopefully it will be... Uh, won't be attacked right away from... Or attacked by our enemies. We need to get power out there too. Uh, now we're going to need... I'm going to say four or five more power poles. Hopefully I can make those. Let's try to make five of these. I'm guessing that's what we need. That's using up stone and it's using up that iron. So it's a good thing we grabbed more iron. Okay, we're good there. Let's see if we can get these placed. Um, okay, there's more. This is more of advice than a hint. Don't line up too close to the hub. This might cause a number of problems with the design of the factory in the future. So basically they're saying don't crowd the hub area because you're going to need to feed a bunch of stuff in there. That's my guess, what they're trying to tell us. Uh, that could reach. That might be enough. Let's see if we can make this happen. Okay, power here. You. It didn't take. Try it again. I don't see the little green zone. I wonder if there's a limit. Um. Let's try from here first to there. Okay, that one worked. Here to here, maybe, and yep, it's got energy. Let's bring this over to the rig. Boom, now we're cooking with oil. Uh, I'll turn off the wire crafting or placing. That guy's gonna start collecting copper with soil in its own inventory, and I think it stacks pretty good. I'm gonna find my way to the medic bot. See if he won't heal me up a bit. Oh, I can take some. Ooh, I can maybe I can shoot this. Got some enemies I can fight while I'm being repaired. Grab that stack of stuff. Get some more gears, a couple of plasma cells, and some wire. We'll take it. And while I'm standing here, whoops. I'm just going to grab some more trees while I'm being repaired. More logs, we can shove that into our power generator. Just about healed up. Yep, he's done with us. Let's head over this way. I'm going to throw logs in here. Now, where are they? They're on my hotbar, so I'm just going to pop those up in there. And I'm going to get rid of the stuff that we collected from uh, fighting the enemies. Just so we're not... We're not our inventory all clogged up here. Uh, more gears. And that I can hold on to. Yeah, that's it. We're good. In fact, I can craft some more weapons using this. You can see to craft 20, um, 20 of these plasma cells, it costs one air ionizer. We've got one in our inventory. I'm just going to convert this over to ammunition for us. And we're in good shape. I'm going to take the ammunition that just got put in our hotbar I'm just going to put it in the stack here I think stacked to a thousand which is really cool I like that quite a bit let's see how we're doing here our 
rig has six more resources and then it's going to be gone. We get another hint. Your engineer robot reacts to damage to a building only within a certain radius of their manufacturer. The engineer robot repairs your building, you and your allies. But the robot engineer is unable to fight. Fight him with safety by other means. Okay. That's the guy that just was repairing us. So this guy is about to run out of ore. He's got four more nuggets and then he's going to be done. We've got an option. We could belt from this miner over here. We could belt to the purifier. We can move things. Or we could just come in here and take this ore and kind of bring it over by hand. I might just bring it over by hand because we don't need that much for the hub objective. Let's see how this guy's doing. He... Yeah, he's been keeping up with the processing pretty well. Getting some more to process, to purify. And let's take a look at the hub, see how we're doing on the objective. Not very good. We've only got... We've only got 59, and we need 160. So it must take multiple ore, right? To get this? Multiple... Um, of the impure ore to produce one pure ore, it looks like. Oh, I'm getting attacked. By a thief bot. Go repair up. Whoops, I'm shooting that. I shouldn't do that. I don't want to waste ammo. So once we're repaired here, I'm going to go grab that rig that is now on a deposit that's depleted and slap it over on another one of these copper deposits over here in the bottom bottom left of the screen. I'm just about repaired up. We're good. Let's go swipe this rig. You can see our rig took some damage too, so hopefully the repair bot will make his way over here. I don't think we can directly control it. I'll grab a couple of these belts up, put those back in inventory. Um, I've got iron ore. Let's come over here and see. Is this, yeah, we've got a bunch. These deposits are huge, right? 4,200. So we've got a rig. Uh, let's put that iron back and let's get the rig on the hot bar so I can place it. And I'm just gonna do it. Rotate with the scroll. that and then let's see can I have power from here to here Ooh, we, so we can daisy chain the power you don't have to go from a power pole to a machine you can go machine to machine I like that a lot that is handy hey okay, our repair bot is repairing our purifier I may not bother belting over to that I could I could let's see how much belts cost I've got 38 on me what do these cost to make? Uh, another hint. You can automate the process of supplying ammo to your turrets or supplying robots to production points using conveyors. Interesting. Robots to production points. That's kind of interesting. So eventually we'll be able to automate the creation of robots. I'm curious on these little stations. Can we manufacture? It says allied unit producer. I'm going to hit E. I think... I think eventually we may be able to produce robots here, we, but we can't now. That's my guess. I'm guessing we have to unlock that in the tech tree by completing these hub objectives. That's my guess. All right, let's take a look at inventory. I've got some stones. I've got some iron with soil. I've got plasma cells. My robot is healed up. I've got two rigs mining. Oh yeah, I was gonna look and see how much the belts cost. Let's see. These guys, just iron ore with soil. Let's make a bunch of these. Because I guess I have the terminal open, they're being put right into my inventory, which is nice. Maybe we should just belt these into the purifier rather than hand bringing stuff over. Let's try it. We'll run some belts. I 
believe the enemies will not attack the belts. That's my understanding. We want to get these into the side of the purifier here. Um, going to be a little spaghetti. These are maybe going to be temporary belts. Uh, let me turn the light on. The F key, that helps. Boom, 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 boom. Alright, yeah, that was a smart move. Pretty easy. Pretty easy, and the purifier should catch up the backlog here. I think this produces pretty fast. And it's multiple. Let's see, does it tell us... The recipe. I think it will tell us um, somewhere... This one, yeah, I'm not sure how many of the copper ore with soil it takes to make just a purified one. It's probably at least two to one. So we're, yeah, we're just coming up on like halfway to meeting our objective. But I think we have, ooh, we got a problem here. This belt does not want to connect. So this is going to be the merger issue, right? We need to merge, so we belts will not just automatically feed each other. All right, only a conveyor belt can be built through the water. They will also become a path for other robots. Enemy robots and your allies are unable to pass through water without a conveyor belt. Okay, so they kind of doubled as roads. Interesting. Hmm, what can we do about this situation? I don't think I've got the merger unlocked yet. Dude, can we craft that yet? No. And that is going to be one of our rewards, is the merger. So we're going to have to kind of hand shuttle things. Hand shuttle some of this ore over. What I could do... Take this out temporarily. And clear this. Oh, oh wait a second now. Take that out again. Get it back. I think I got to back up off it. Hold on. You hit to clear that one. Clear that one. And there's several um, different types of belts here that I'm scrolling through. I want that one. So we'll let this guy empty his inventory. This one can kind of build up his inventory. Until we get the mergers, we'll just do it that way. And then how is our fuel burner here? Fuel generator. It's got 152 logs. That's pretty good. And we're 86. Yeah, that's going to take a while. What about getting a mining drill? We've got enemies to take on. Hey, okay, this guy's stealing my copper. Stealing my copper. Now he's attacking me. A little harder to aim than you might imagine. Not happy about that. Stealing my copper, that is. But we may get it back. Now there's turrets. Let's go get a turret. I think we had one left somewhere in here, right? Yeah. Oh, we got three of them. Let's pull those on. Let's put turrets near our new mining drill area here. Um, I don't know if it matters how these are rotated. Boom. Oh, yeah. Check it out. He's attacking right now. Nice. And let's put one over here. Boom. And then I'm going to save one. And what I want to do, or what I'm thinking of doing, is grabbing a rig, heading over to that iron deposit, and getting a rig going. Uh, we're probably going to need power generation, too, though. We're going to need another one of these burners, unless we want to run power poles all the way out there. Um, that's an option. I think we should just try to build another one of these. Uh, let's do that. One more solid fuel generator, and then how about... Boy, it'd be nice if we could do two rigs. Okay, enemy cannot destroy the conveyor belt. And it's just the developer saying we did that for the sake of balance. Sounds good to me. Yeah, it could be a nuisance if they did. Uh, looks like I've got enough to build two rigs. Let's do that. Create that one. 
one more power pole and then one more rig and we should be able to head down to the iron and throw two rigs down in a power generator and we'll chop down some wood maybe near the site I'm gonna go ahead and scan okay we want to head over to the iron we know there's enemies down this way and there's a bunch of cave stuff that's in our way we're gonna have to fight our way down there probably That guy's running away, but he did take a shot at me. This guy's probably not hard to take out. Let's start putting things down. Um, let's put down these guys. That's fine. That's fine. We're not going to run conveyor belts out here. I'll put down this turret. We'll see if it helps. And power generation. Let's grab that out of inventory onto the hot bar and boom nearby like i said i've took some damage there's some corn here i'm not sure how to harvest that yet how to use it um but i do need to find some trees to harvest so we can start producing fuel i'm gonna grab all this while i grab a sip of water here oops getting attacked Okay, our turret there is working for us. Boy, we've got a lot of buddies over in this area. That guy, man, is doing the job on me. Now, we don't have repair bots out here, and I don't think I can repair them. I'm going to grab this bit of loot from the robot that was just killed, and I'm going to see if I can get some of these logs into the fuel generator boom and then I just need to wire this up and then I need to get out of here okay those are wired up they should be mining iron for us I'm gonna go heal up and hopefully those won't get attacked or robbed and we'll actually get something out of that um yeah, here's our copper mining site. I can grab the copper out of this one. Not a lot, is there? And we'll throw that in the purifier. The hub's not backed up yet, so it looks like we haven't met the objective yet. Okay, now I'm getting killed right when a hint came up. That's no good. I didn't read the hint. <clears throat> Let's pop this ore in. To get purified. And let's go see if we can get healed up. There's our buddy. See if I can walk near a tree and kind of get something done while I'm being healed. Looks like he's going to come over and heal me. So yeah, I'll just take advantage of the time here to harvest some more fuel. Eventually, like I said, I think we're going to be able to automate the fuel and electricity production. We got to be getting getting close on the hub objective, I would think, but we'll check it here. As soon as I am healed up. there down in the corner. That's a thief one with that big old backpack. We'd try to take that guy on. He might have some of our stuff. I said aiming is a bit harder than <laughs> and that guy can outrun me. Took some damage. There's our buddy. Healing us up, and I'm going to take advantage of the ability just to harvest. While I'm getting healed, then we'll take a look at the hub objective.
Pretty cool game. We're just in the early stages. That's probably enough. Hopefully he'll follow me. Let's go check and see where things are at. I might hold on to these logs and put them over by the iron. The iron mining site. Uh, we're at 139 over 160. Again, we don't have the merger yet, so I can't put two belts. I can't merge belts yet. So I'm just going to manually grab some of this ore from that rig and pop it in here on manual style. And then we can try and head over to the iron again and re and see how things are doing. Oh man, we're taking a beating over here. Looks like we did kill a bot, but man, they went after our rigs. I wonder if I grab this rig and I place it over by the healing bot, if they would uh, heal it. Uh, I can at least grab the ore that they've been processing. It's something. And I'll put some more wood in. I think I'm going to pop this here, right click it, split the stack. I'm just going to put 41 more into our uh, generator here. Oh, yeah, I don't think I can heal this on my own, this guy. Yeah, I don't believe I've got the ability to spawn robots or produce those. These ones I'm not too scared of. What I could do temporarily. Oh man, that guy is shooting me from really far. Wow. I'm wondering if we should swap these turrets around and put it somewhere where our healer bot can kind of fix them. Or we could, hmm. I'll show you what I'm thinking. If I grab this turret, just borrow you for a minute. And if I put it somewhere where this guy can actually heal where'd you go oh did i just get the parts oh maybe that was the warning saying don't destroy your things i thought that was going to bounce into my inventory it did not i actually just got the parts from it oh man that's not good all right grab this ore boom drop it off That's iron ore. Where did I not just grab the copper? This guy's got a ton, 12,000 copper in that deposit. I thought I grabbed it out. I guess I, oh, I don't have room in my inventory. Shoot. All right. Let's unload, clear out the inventory a bit. These gears in the pod, put these lights in the pod this uh, scrap metal in the pod until we know what to do with it. We've got this allied unit producer. Let's grab this and just see what this does for us. I don't think it's going to do much of anything yet. I think that that's going to come into play later. Yeah, see, I can't really do anything with this. Assign a robot to it or craft a robot. I'm kind of bummed I took out my turret. Let's see if I can uh, craft a new one. Looks like our hub objective is ready to go. Let's, uh, let's do that. Boom. We've got 160 purified copper and that's going to allow us to do the engineer robot and build turrets and the merger and splitter and all that stuff. Let's start sending it low energy because we got one burner feeding a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to yank this belt for now. That guy can keep purifying, but I don't need it sent to the hub. I'll grab the resources off of this. And soon, uh, okay, this guy's still waiting on power. Do you not have fuel? You got plenty of fuel. So, grab the goodies. I store some of this odd stuff. Boom. Gotta restack my logs. And now I'm curious as to why we're not getting power. 
Sending in progress. I'm going to try. Is this guy... Yeah, see how it's not burning the log? There's something funky going on here. Could be a glitch. I'm going to take these logs out. Put them back in. And let's see if that kicks it on again. Looks like it did. Yeah, so now we're burning logs. We're generating power. And this guy should... Start sending. I might have too much stuff connected to this guy. Um, what we can do, let's disconnect one of the cables and see if that doesn't help us. Boom. Disconnect this cable. Shut down our copper mining. Yeah. We're just overtaxing that line. So we'll let the hub do its thing, then we can reconnect. We'll probably be fine. Uh, yeah, I saw bolts. Let's get this out of here. I got a little bit of pure copper. I guess I can put that here. Okay, almost done. Boom. Check it out. Stage two is complete. Let's uh, connect up the power again. Trying to get it. Uh, let's try it from here. Okay, that's powered up. Copper miners are doing their thing. Now, hopefully now, we can build more turrets. Uh, looks like we can. What do they take? All stuff that we can do. Although this iron ore is purified, so we need to purify iron ore. We need to make sure we've got copper for wires. And then this guy takes what? Takes... Aluminum ore with soil. We're going to need some of that. All right, we'll wrap this episode up. I've got an enemy here with no defenses nearby, so I'll have to take him out myself. These guys aren't too bad, though. Grab all that. What do we need to do? Let's, uh, before we end this episode, let's go check on the iron mining station. See if there's still anything happening over here. Uh, our guy is stealing. We have a thief stealing our fuel. I'm going to collect this iron. This is kind of a minimally guarded outpost here. And our buildings are taking damage. He doesn't even have any weapons left. Let's uh, give him something. So he can fight for us. So those guys are mining iron. Again, we need to shore up that outpost. We get a little bit of iron for crafting. We're going to need to seriously improve that, though, because our next objective involves iron, right? Where is that? Down here? Yeah, we need to purify a bunch of iron, 250, which means we got to mine a ton at least two to one, the raw iron to the purified iron. And we got to keep the copper going too. So we've got the ability to build turrets. We got lots to do next episode. We want to shore up our mining outposts. We want to produce more ammo and add ammo to our turrets and ourselves. We need to ammo. What else? We need to explore building more robots. It'd be nice if we could build a healer, another healer robot. Got a pile of junk here. Let's take that. Dump this off. Uh, dump off this stuff. If eventually we're going to learn how to use these gears and things. I have no idea. And the scrap. Imagine we can smelt that down. But yeah, let's end this episode here. And uh, we'll pick it up next time. And start working on the next hub objective. Looks like there's eight hub objectives at least. And I imagine they're going to get more and more complex. So... First two, pretty easy, but I imagine these are going to get... Oh, man. They're letting us see what they are. <laughs> yeah, it's going <laughs> to... Looks like they get pretty involved. We're going to have to produce an anti-radiation container with vegetables. 500 of those, so that'll be cool. Fruit. 1,000 iron screws. And 200 robotic arms. That is... Where is that stage? I'm not sure which one that was. That was uh, stage 7. 
Cool. Anyway, hope you're enjoying this series on Total Factory. It's an early access game. You can pick it up in Steam, wishlist it, um, follow along. Very cool. All the links you need are in the description of this video. I want to thank GladderCat patrons and channel members for their support of the channel. It's what makes this content possible and what keeps the channel alive. If you'd like to help support the channel, uh, I deeply appreciate it. And there's links to do that in the description as well. And I will see you all in the next episode.